today we are going to solve problem 5 of IIT JAM MS 2023. Let us proceed with the question. Here it is given that x1, x2, xn are id random variables each having uniform 0, 1 distribution and y be a random variable having the distribution function as g. Now suppose it is given a limit n tends to infinity, n tends to infinity probability that x1 plus x2 plus xn by 4 less than equal to x is equal to gx for all x belong to y. Then we have to calculate the variance of y. Now let us proceed with the solution part. Suppose x1, x2, xn are id uniform 0, 1 random variables. Then by the central limit theorem, we have that x1 plus x2 plus xn minus 3 by 2 which is expectation of this one and th which is 3 by 2 because ex each expectation of xi is equal to half by root over of variance which turns out to be 3 by 12 because variance of each xi is 1 by 12 which follows which um, follows in distribution which converges sorry which converges in distribution to normal 0 1 as n tends to infinity which is which can be written as 2 into x1 plus x2 xn minus 3 by 2 which converges in distribution to normal 0 1 as n tends to infinity therefore x1 plus x2 xn converges in distribution to normal 3 by 2 comma 1 by 4 as n tends to infinity dividing by 4 we get x1, the dis, uh, asymptotic distribution of x1 plus x2 xn by 4 which is normal 3 by 8 comma 1 by 64. Now it is given that probability that x1 plus x2 plus xn by 4 less than equal to x is equal to gx for all x belong to r as n tends to infinity where g is the distribution function of a random variable y. Now from star we can see that this quantity asymptotic has the asymptotic distribution of normal 3 by 8 comma 1 by 64 which means as n tends to infinity this follows normal distribution. Therefore, from star it follows that g should be the distribution function of normal uh, 3, comma, 3 by 8, comma 1 by 64 distribution. Hence, we can say that y follows normal 3, com, 3 by 8, comma 1 by 64 as uh, y has the distribution function g. Therefore, from it is very straightforward that the variance of y is 1 by 64. Hence, option d is correct in this case. Hello guys, welcome to Chinta School of Statistics and Data Science. We are a team of extremely passionate teachers, researchers and statisticians from the top universities of India and USA. Our mission is to help you curve your career in statistics, data science and machine learning. How do we do that? Number one, we help you build your foundations. We achieve that by making an optimized plan for your learning journey. Number two, we help you prepare and ace your entrance examinations in statistics and data science like IIT JAM MS, ISI MSTAT and CMI MSA data science. Number three, we give our absolute best to help you design your career by organizing workshops and certified data science courses. To book a trial class for your preparation courses of IIT JAM MS, ISI MSTAT and CMI MSA data science, check out the first link in the description below. If you're enjoying the video, show some love by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. We welcome you again to this passionate community of budding statisticians and data scientists. Let's enjoy the rest of the video. Stay tuned and stay blessed. Hence, our variance of y turn, turns out to be 1 by 64. Hence, option D is correct. Today, we are going to solve problem 6 of IIT JMMS 2023. The question which just follows. Let x1, x2, xn be, be a random sample from a normal theta1 distribution where theta belongs to i is an unknown parameter. Then we have to calculate, then we have to choose all of the options which are which do not depend on theta. Let us proceed to the solution part. Suppose x1, x2, x3 I follow ID normal theta1 distribution where theta belongs to i is unknown. We know that for in for this case, t equals to summation x i is sufficient for theta. Hence, from a defi definition of sufficient statistics, we can say that probability t1 given t is independent of theta, where t1 is any other statistic. This thing means that the conditional distribution of t1 given t is independent of theta. Hence, expectation of t1 given t is independent of theta for any other statistics t1. This thing follows directly from the 
uh, concept of sufficient statistic and the definition of sufficient statistic that for given any sufficient statistic t the conditional distribution of t1 given t will be independent of theta where t1 is any other statistic hence its expectation will be independent of theta also now in this case we have t equals to x1 plus x2 xt which is the sufficient statistic hence expectation of x1 plus x2 minus xt given x1 plus x2 x3 is independent of theta here x1 plus x2 minus x3 is acting as t1 any other statistic hence option d is correct in this question our option d is independent of the parameter theta hence it does not depend on theta hence option d is correct